In 1888, there was a famous scientist who made so many discoveries and made a fortune from his inventions. One day he was reading his local morning newspaper and to his surprise, he found his name in the obituary column. The newspaper had reported the death of him by mistake, believing he had passed away when in reality, his brother had passed away a day before. What he read in the newspaper horrified him. They titled him as the Merchant of Death. They also described him as a man who had made it possible to kill more people more quickly than anyone else who had ever lived. They criticized his invention of dynamite. There wasn't anything good written about him. That news hit him hard. In that moment, he quickly realized two things. One, that this was how people were going to remember him. And two, that this wasn't the way he wanted to be remembered. From that day on, he started working towards peace. He left most of his wealth in a trust that would be used to establish the awards after his name, Alfred Nobel. And that is how the Nobel Prize was created. As an award for people who make outstanding achievements to mankind in subjects that always interested Alfred Nobel. Physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. Today, everyone is familiar with the Nobel Prize. While relatively few people know how Alfred Nobel made his fortune, it was through the invention of dynamite. And nobody knew that a simple newspaper incident changed his life. Alfred Nobel had an opportunity granted to him that very few people have, to read his obituary while alive. Thinking about how one's obituary is going to read can motivate us to rethink and reflect on our life and how we are currently spending our life. The one thing that we can learn from this story is that the good we do lives after us. For most of us, this is the most important thing that we ever leave behind. The reality of death can be our greatest motivator if we let it. It can help us refocus on our visions and remember why we do what we do. Once you understand what death means in all of its darkness, you will understand life. You will see death not as a problem, but a fact. And that fact will change the way you see everything going forward. The only way to deal with the reality of death is to go out there and live the best life you can, while you can. Use your life to do something that gives you meaning, and then you'll no longer see death as a problem when it comes upon you. There is a famous saying, life is a book of three pages. The first page is birth, the last page is death, and the center page is empty. It is up to you how beautiful you make that page to read. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.